Okay, so just doing a short short video today with the um, update of our Spencer monitors. Uh, these are two of them. We've got an older one in a different enclosure. It's probably about double the size of these ones, so we haven't put them together. Um, but this is their new enclosure setup. We've, uh, we're not using sand just because it gets in the tracks a fair bit. And um, we've got this glass sliding tracks, so it was a bit of a hassle, so we used um, uh, that uh, critter crumble stuff from the pet store. It's a bit, yeah, not my favourite thing to use. I'd prefer to use the uh, the peat moss stuff from Bunnings in the little blocks. Um, and then we just got some branches in there, two heat lights uh, above where they are now. Um, normally with a with a uh, little raised raised hide and a tile above it but I took the raised hide out just so you could get a good look at them and they can wander around um, and then we also got the, the UV light at the other other side so uh, for kind of starting to tame these guys up you can see it uh, walking up to me now um, basically it's just a matter of kind of well the way I like to do it is I just open the door um, get them a little bit interested so that they've still got opportunity to go and hide they can they can wander around and kind of bury themselves under the branches or do that stuff even though I've taken their main hide out popped a little bit of food down but um, with their with their hide lifted off them basically they can they're kind of exploring everything so they're not not timid they're, they're eating well um, and they're at a point where they're they're just going to wander around uh, with the door open I'm not not sticking my hand in there trying to um, grab them or anything I'm just kind of sticking my hand at the door and they can come up if they want and um, when they do come up to the door because they'll be uh, they'll be interested about coming up to the door because it's not their enclosure it's kind of the out of their enclosure so they're going to be interested in coming up to it and then when they do come up to it they've got my hand there at the door which they'll they'll smell and in a non-threatening way they'll just kind of lick at it, they'll have a look at the camera um, and then they can just wander back around in the enclosure. If they do want to come out they can they, they basically have to climb up onto my hand to get out because my hand's in the way and uh, that's generally how they get used to it. So you can see the one in the distance it's the slightly bigger one, it's a lot more inquisitive um, wanders around a lot more. Just got a brief look at the lights there um, but yeah, the one so the one in the background just over there, it's the one that wanders around uh, a lot more inquisitive. The other one is a lot more food responsive. The one just sitting there, a um, little bit more timid and um, aggressive towards myself and the other other lizard. But um, as you'll see, it it does start to warm up towards the end of the video and come over and uh, get a bit inquisitive itself. Still, still a little bit. A bit worried but this one coming up now it's going to be much easier and tame up much quicker they will both tame up but this is um this is basically the process for it and spencer monitors they're um well i haven't had them for very long but they they seem like they're probably one of the easier monitors to to tame up just because they yeah, they don't seem to be too afraid of much, and they're very uninclined to to bite. They are going to hiss up. They're going to tail whip if, if I went in there and picked them up. Um, they'll they'll probably hiss up a bit and they'll curl their tail. But uh, whereas if if you went to pick up a lacy at this point, it yeah, it's likely to not try to try to give you a bit of a nip. I'm um, saying that. Uh, it's the same kind of process with the laces and the parentes that I do to train them up. It's just, and we'll do some videos of that later on as well. Uh, but it is it is a patience thing because basically you just want to sit here for like kind of hours on end, just just letting them um, kind of become acclimatized to you and and come up and give you a bit of a lick and see if they want to see if they want to come out. And, um, yeah, sometimes, like if it's a larger, larger monitor that you're taming up, I'll, I'll use a closed fist, just so it's less of an area to bite if they do want to bite. 
Um, these guys aren't gonna are gonna come up and bite though, unless unless it is a food response. Um, and you'll know that pretty soon from walking into the enclosure. Like if you go in there and they start charging at you, it's it's usually um, with these guys anyway. It's usually a 100% time a feed response, and then you pop some food in there or let them know that you're just there. But now they know that I'm just sitting there, so it's only going to be a a um, inquisitive thing that they're coming up. So I don't really need to worry too much about having fingers exposed. And you can see now the other guy is coming up getting a bit inquisitive himself and um, that's, that's the thing, it just takes time with all of them. They, uh, you give them the time, you give them the space and you let them move about themselves. I'm doing a, the, the audio I'm doing here is posted on top of the video because I didn't want to talk while I was doing this in case it did throw them off a bit and it can, like anything extra can throw them off a bit, you kind of just got to, um, first couple of stages just kind of sit there pretty still and quiet and um, very small, slow movements, and I like to just, like I said, leave my hand on the outside of the enclosure, and um, or just in the doorway of the enclosure, so it doesn't um, intrude in their space, and then they come up of their own and, and suss it out. Monitors are naturally inquisitive animals, and um, as long as you've got the right heat and the right diet, and plenty of hides in there, they're going to build up the carriage and come say hello basically. Um, so yeah, I'll just, uh, that's, that's about all, but I'll leave you with the video now, I've got a few more minutes to go.